not brandy. I'm just stuntin' on my ex. Huh? I'm just flexin' on my ex. Hold up. I'm just stuntin'. The basketball shoes I'm reconstructing have been worn on court by Michael Jordan against the Lakers in 1990. Due to the nature of how the shoes were stored, the material has been depleted of its natural oils. This will cause the synthetic material to dry out, inevitably damaging the upper material with cracking. Nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoy. Aaron has been shooting very well, 50% in five of his last eight. Michael Magic Johnson with a three-pointer to open the game. Ivans wants, or Magic wants him out of there so he can isolate against Horace. Drew the foul and the three-point opportunity. And Doug, you spotted that with Magic Johnson having a field day. Four game. And that's something they have really done a good job on this year. The lob to Jordan! As I've mentioned before, the health of the leather is brittle and can't handle any type of tampering since the leather isn't as elastic as it once was. So we're going to have to be extremely careful in handling the shoes to minimize cracking on the leather upper. The first step we need to do is to remove the stitching on the toe cap to separate the rubber sole away from the uppers. This will make the crumbled midsole cleanup a whole lot easier. Now that we have our rubber sole separated from the uppers, we can remove the crumbled polyurethane from the rubber sole by dunking them into boiling hot water to melt the adhesive. Afterwards, we can use a paint scraper to effectively remove the crumbled midsole. And since these are Michael Jordan shoes that he wore on court, we're gonna put a little flavor into these soles. So after taking the soles out of the boiling water, we're just gonna use a paint scraper to remove the soles now. To deep clean the rubber sole from the factory adhesive and the crumbled midsole remnants, we're gonna use cotton balls and acetone for this job. We need to melt the adhesive first by using a heat gun. By doing this step, we are also removing the thin white film that the factory uses to mask any imperfections that the polyurethane might have. So we're gonna have to replicate the same thin white film by mixing our own adhesive with white paint. And to clean off the factory adhesive, we're gonna use a Dremel tool to remove all of the impurities. So our next step is to tape up the uppers so we can remove the factory adhesive and the crumbled midsole with cotton balls and acetone. To remove the donors, we're going to use my boiling water method. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll provide a link down in the description below. The video is also the first one to be uploaded on YouTube, so check it out. I also have a more in-depth tutorial, which I will provide in the description below. This video was recorded in March, so the techniques I use are outdated. I would have used acetone instead because it's more time efficient and I'm not wasting any water. So we're going to separate the rubber soles from the midsole by using a heat gun. And after doing so, we're going to remove the factory paint as much as possible by using cotton balls and acetone. Because we stripped the thin white film the factory uses on the original sole, we're going to replicate the same method by mixing white paint with our adhesive. So to attach the midsole to the rubber sole, we're going to activate the adhesive by heating it up with a heat gun and then bonding them together. 
So we're gonna tape up the midsole, add our white base coat, paint the midsole red, and add our black accents. But before we apply our red midsole paint, we're gonna mix infrared paint from the collector's edition with black paint to give it that aged look. Because the uppers are from 1990 and the donors we're using are from 2013, the fitment is not going to be 100%, so we're going to use a Dremel tool to adjust the fitment. As you can see on the toe box, the fitment is nothing close to the specifications, so we're going to adjust it by shaving down the foam. We're almost nearing the end of this midsole swap. The only thing we have to do now is just attach the uppers to the midsole, and all I'm doing right now is applying Bark Cement Super Stick Freehand. Just like the rubber sole to the midsole, we're going to activate the adhesive by heating it up with a heat gun so we can clamp them together. If you're performing a sole swap, I recommend using my heat gun method when you're re-gluing your soles. Out of all the other re-gluing methods, this has been the most effective. Feel free to ask me any questions regarding my method on re-gluing soles. Now the last step is to restitch the toe cap and I'll provide a link down in the description below on how to do that for your shoes. y'all you know just kicking it up here you know what i'm saying just hanging around hope you guys enjoyed my video and i know you did and if you did make sure you give me that thumbs up button you know what i'm saying give me that thumbs up leave your comments down in the comment section below let me see what you're thinking of and if you have a shoe that you want me to repair my email is down in the description below check it out manala restorations at gmail.com send me detailed photos okay detailed photos and a detailed description so i know what you're talking about hope you guys enjoyed this video again uh take care and god bless